What's up guys, this is That Really Gross Guy and we are back with our Mastery Rank tests. Now that they have been updated, this is Mastery Rank test number 9. And this is the Stealth Oriented test, which is probably the most difficult so far. Actually, it, it pretty much definitely is. Um, I'm A using full frontal Mag. attack is not always the best option. Using your stealth abilities, eliminate all enemies without being detected. Alright, so I'm using Mag, and in the past, um, okay, so now you can no longer use your abilities, and Mag in the past was incredibly good at this stealth-oriented, uh, thing, because she could use her pull ability, which would kill the enemies in one shot, and it could pull almost the entire room worth of enemies. So, since that is not the case anymore, this is going to have to be completely stealth oriented. So by doing that, we'll basically, you'll have to take the route that I am taking. And, uh... And yeah, just be as quiet as possible. Make sure you avoid the Grenier as best as you possibly can. Um, I think they changed up the pattern just a tiny bit on these guys. I thought that might happen because I couldn't see them. I think they changed the pattern in which they walked. I think in the past they used to just... Um, they used to just walk around it. Now the one actually moves into the middle and he kind of patrols the very middle. So that's a little bit different from what I remember. Um, so let's see. Okay. He's vulnerable there. He has his back turned at that point. So that is a safe time to go after him. Alright, so we can move into the next room and in the past when you moved into a next room, it resets your uh, your amount of attempts. So we should be back to three attempts. Um, so we should be all right. So I'm gonna go after this guy first, the one that's right here, because he's the furthest one away, and the enemy's lines of sight are not uh, not aimed this far out. Um, it's probably good to get the other guy that's on the ground first because there is a chance if you're chasing after the guys that are on that second level that he can look up at you uh, depending on where he's patrolling at the time. But you want to make sure when you go after this guy that none of the other guys are looking at you. That was a little bit... Um, a little bit dangerous to go after him at that point, but it looks like I was I was able to pull that one off. Uh, these two guys do patrol, and they get to a point where they're looking at each other. What you want to do is wait till they both turn and go opposite directions. When he starts going back that way, I should be safe to go up here and attack his back. Unless he goes in a circle, but I'm pretty sure they both end up looking at each other at some point. And then turning back the other direction. They do it over there. I know for sure they do it over there. But do they do it over here? So there's him. So we'll go after him. See what happens. Oh no. Alright. So you basically just have to be really fast. Because he could not alert the enemy... I was able to pull that off. That's a little bit careful, because they... I don't know if one has to walk further, because I think in the past what they would do is... Let me... Yeah. I think what would happen is the one would come around and stop here, and the other one would come around and stop here. So you were safe when this one was looking that way, and this one was looking that way to jump up 
and get either one in the back and then loop around and get them in the back. But as soon as they get to this point, they can see you back attack that guy. Same with on that side. So you want to get them before they turn this corner. Um, it might take a little while, a, a bit of waiting, and you may want to sit further back and kind of watch them for a little bit. Uh, I took a risk going after that one guy, and I almost did not get it. So be careful with that. And here is the final room, and this one is definitely the hardest room. But I find it easiest to go after the guys on the left and right first. Um, so I will wait until they... I don't think he can see me. I hope he can't see me. But when they go around the outer corners, you should be able to back attack both of them. Alright, so everyone is facing away. You're good to kill him. And possibly get over to this guy. Alright, so you're good. Hide behind this pillar because uh, those guys do go on their own path and they will look in your direction at some point. Um, I might be safe going after that one. Yeah, see the way he turned? The direction he turned around in? And that guy... That guy up top turned around and is patrolling that square. So you should be okay to get him when he turns us back as long as he's not looking directly at you. All right, so we have these last three. And same thing with these two guys is you wanna get them when they are facing away from each other. So there's that kill. Um, be careful with this guy. I may, actually this is what I'm going to do, just to be very safe, I'm going to go around this direction, just like I did with that last one, and I'm going to get him. I don't want to move to that next one because he might be able to see me up top, so I'm going to wait. I do want to see him though. So he's not facing me, and he won't be for another couple seconds. So I am free to attack him. Alright. Just to be careful, we're going to take this guy out when we know for certain we are okay. And that is the stealth mission. This one is not... It's... It's simple if you take your time. Uh, you do have three attempts, I believe, every time you enter a new area. So take your time, go about it the way I did, make sure the enemy's lines of sight are not, none of the enemy's lines of sight are in your direction when you make a kill, and you should be all right. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, if you wanna see some more Mastery Rank tests, then feel free to keep it here and check them out. So take it easy, guys.